Hi, my name is Adam Smith. I build and sell these paramotor transport plates here. And I'm going to demonstrate a few features they have and, and what they could do. First of all, you got three locking positions you could put it in. Right here we're in the 90 degree position. You can also, you unpin it right here. This is the mode when you're going down the road um, used to transport your paramotor. It's similar to any standard cargo rack. For running your motor, you always want to bring it out away from your vehicle. Either put it in the 90 degree position or the 180 degree position. Some of the features this has is of course as you can see here a, a fuel jug holder. This is just a simple tray with several bungee loops you hook your bungee cords into. I find that two works perfect for holding your, your fuel jug securely. Another feature this has is a windsock loop. That's this loop right here. Windsock goes right down in there push it in the ground a little and hold the windsock securely. One thing that I find really great about this is it, it gets your paramotor up at eye level. So you can do a good walk around the whole unit, a good pre-flight inspection. You're not sitting there with your paramotor on the ground trying to look it over, you know, looking down on it. Another thing that's great is it brings your fuel access up to, you know, a very very easy and manageable level. You're not having to bend over to fuel it or get down on the ground and so on and so forth. It's, you know, lifting them five gallon jugs. It's, it's really easy at this level here. This works really good for warming up your motor. One thing that's influenced me on, influenced me to make them is it just makes a sport that much easier. And the easier this sport is, not that it's hard or anything, the easier it is to get in the air, the, the more you enjoy it, the more I enjoy it. So what I'd usually do is, first, I start my motor and let it warm up here. While my motor's warming up, I go set my wing up. I come back, I do a full throttle run up, I kill the motor, I unbolt it, I strap into it, and then I'm ready to go. Um, it takes a few steps out of it and just makes the process easier. Right now I'm going to demonstrate a startup, a full throttle run up, and I'm going to kill it and I'm going to show you how to unstrap it and get in and be ready to go. Clear prop.
you'd never want to do that with the standard cargo rack with your prop face in your vehicle it's just there's no room for prop blast there it's too darn close to your vehicle just not a good idea um and you'd never want to face your, your pair, in my opinion, you face your paramotor out and do a full throttle run up because it's kind of getting pinned you in between the vehicle. And that's what's nice about this, it gets your paramotor swung, paramotor swung out there away from the vehicle and you direct your prop blast wherever you want it to go. Now to undo this, come over here and twist this right here. This is just a single bar here with the eye bolt in it. One thing that's really nice about this eye bolt setup is if you're concerned about theft, you run your your bicycle lock through there, and no one could ever undo it unless they cut your your lock, of course. Undo it there, and that's all that was holding that on. I got a nifty little spot here with a, a drilled and tapped hole here also to store that, just so it's not falling on the ground or you're not misplacing it. There's several holes throughout this whole plate right down the center that are drilled and tapped. So you pick the one that works best for you and use that one. And if you're going a long distance, these holes are right here around the whole plate are good for running straps just as an extra precaution. I never use them just because they're not really necessary, but I, I got a feeling if you're traveling, you know, unit it's a high hooking machine with uh, with hard J bars you got to kind of lean the paramotor forward to, to strap in I also have a low hooking machine that you basically set down on this plate here and strap in that way it's actually a little easier to get in to a, a low hooking machine with this plate than it is a high hooking machine but the high as you can see a high hooking machine is very very easy so now I'm ready to go. My wings all set up, my paramotor's warmed up, I've tested my kill switch, I've done a full throttle run up on it. I'm ready to go hook into my paraglider and and go flying. That's basically it for this video. Thanks for watching. Um, as I stated, I, I make and sell these. I you know I, I highly recommend them. They've they've really made flying for me a, a whole lot different experience and a whole lot easier handling the paramotor. So, go buy one if you wish. Thank you.